Hey guys, it's Loewe. Today we're going to be doing a review of the e.l.f. or the Eyes Lips Face, whatever you want to call it, HD Blush. And I only have this in one shade, which is Superstar, but I asked if you guys wanted to see a review anyways, and a lot of you said yes. This was honestly one of the most requested items um, for me to do a review on. A lot of you have been asking about this, so I thought I would just bring it your way, even though I only do have the one color. So as you can see, the e.l.f. HD blushes come in this kind of clear plasticky tube, and then you have a matte black top thing, and then it comes with a pump. So it's really convenient in the sense that, I don't know, I feel like a lot of cream blushes that come in pots tend to dry out really fast. Um, and I'm sure that this will dry out, but I don't feel like it'll be as quickly because it's not as exposed to air. So like if you leave the compact on a cream blush open, it could like dry out, you know, in a day. But, you know, won't happen. What happened with this guy? The packaging is quite nice, especially when you consider the fact that it retails for $3. So let's go ahead and pump out a tiny bit. Always shake these up because I do feel like they tend to separate even if you don't touch them for like a day. So just gonna like shake mine up a little bit. Now if you can see, I'm going to pump out the tiniest bit. And if you're not super careful, yeah, see, I was like trying to get the most minuscule amount and it just, it pumps out way too much. So I did this simply for the sake of showing you. This is more than enough to cover your two cheeks. This is how much an entire pump gives you. And if you look, that is so much product. And I feel like even when you are trying to go as sparingly as humanly possible, this thing just dispenses so, so much product on the back of your hand and it kills me every single time that I use it because I get too much and then it's a little bit too much on the cheeks or I'm just wasting so much of it I feel like. Now that may not concern some of you but I just do feel like that is a big problem for me. Um, I, I really don't like to be wasteful even with products that are like three bucks so that's just something to keep in mind but now I will do an actual swatch for y'all. So I know that that's a huge huge swatch but that is this blush swatched and that is full pigmentation so it can't get much more pigmented than that. As you can see Superstar is a really beautiful kind of corally pink and I do quite like the color but my issue with this again comes into play where when I put it on the cheeks and by the way I use um, I have used my fingers, that works fine, but I like to use an e.l.f. small stipple brush, which I find just really nicely kind of blends the product out. And once these set, they almost go to a dry finish, so it's not tacky. I don't feel like I'm going to rub all of it off. Um, it actually feels quite nice and smooth on the skin, so not like chunky or greasy or anything like that. And I think that that's the reason I really, really do like it because I'm not a huge cream products fan. I know some of you were like totally shocked to see me using like a cream based product in one of my more recent, um, I don't remember if it was a get ready with me or a tutorial, but I did use this. Um, I really, really like it, but I feel like it requires a bit of a learning curve and you need to play with it because it's not like other cream blushes. Um, it goes on very pigmented. It's very hard to blend once you have it in one area. But I do feel like if you can spare the time and the patience to work with this, this is an A plus product. This cream blush is so smooth, it's so creamy, so just beautiful. Um, but there are a couple of flaws with it. I think that the price is totally right. I do really like the packaging. I think you get a crap ton of product. I will never go through this much cream blush, but that is just something to be wary of that due to the packaging and also due to the pigmentation of the product, you are going to have to work with it a tiny bit before you figure it out. Make sure to let me know if you've tried any other shades of this blush because I'm very interested in trying a couple of other colors in this line. I think that it is totally worth the investment, especially for three bucks a pop. And yeah, if you guys found this review helpful, then give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And until my next video, I love you girls so much and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!